Well, hey there, YouTube. It's Petey Two Finger here with Kita. Hello, Kita. And today I wanted to talk about Delic PCB. Delic PCB uh, is a internet website. You don't hear about them much. They provide printed circuit boards for audio effects mostly guitar effects you know guitar pedals and a lot of the stuff that Delic sells is can be built into smaller enclosures which is really hip it's really the way a lot of people are building these days because people like pedal boards they like to have a lot of effects and the smaller you make them the more excuse me shut my space heater off my feet got chilly the more you can fit. So Delic PCB is this place. You don't hear about it much. They have small boards. They have mini boards, utility boards, parts, swag, and clearance. Looks like there is 17 overdrive or distortion, 3 boost, 5 fuzz. There's a delay, 10 modulation, 10 small boards, 8 mini boards, a dozen utility boards, parts, swag, and clearance. In my opinion the green funk that's got to be the old dodd auto wah beta genesis what could that be i'm not sure what the beta genesis is boost treble boost so maybe this is something like a treble booster there you go silicon based treble boost and you can see here it's six resistors polarity production diode four capacitors a 2n5457 jfet and a bs170 so just a handful of components builds you this wonderfully cool treble boost effect that's what brian may also tony iomi used the treble booster to brighten up his dark sounding laney amps and obtain that wonderful tone that defined heavy metal the buzz box is more than likely a fuzz like a baldwin burns some type of buzz fuzz v boost i'm guessing that's got to be a clean boost uh, ross distortion equals distortion plus that's going to be uh 350 for that that's my favorite circuit uh, and I've got to mention, this V-Boost is a dollar. It's a one dollar PCB. Casey Jones' son, that's got to be Son of Clay Jones, which is a stripped down, really clean tube screamer build. Charge pump PCB, 2112 degrees. Uh, 212 degrees overdrive distortion. It looks like that's an IC chip. Is it diode clippers? Let's take a look. It's a high gain distortion. How do you like that? It looks like it is LEDs and diodes. So more than likely, ooh, high gain it is. MPSA 18, look out. So yes, there is a pair of switches on this to give you clipping options. Very cool. Six bucks build you a all you need in one overdrive slash high gain distortion. The meat head, that's a fuzz. That's a famous fuzz. Infuriated overdrive. I'm curious to see what that is. Well-respected full-tone OCD. Very cool. Uh, especially considering the comments that the owner of that company made. How about making your own and ditching the super unpopular, unhip, uh, borderline racist megalomaniac comments made by the owner it's not cool to have a full tone pedal on your board uh, if you love full tone put your pedal on 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 reverb and sell it 
pick up one of these PCBs for $4, place an order from Tata, get into the pedal building game, and there you go, Bob's your uncle, because this is a wonderful hobby. They have much more, uh, as you can see here, uh, oh, look at that, the little angel. Always wanted to build one of those. Um, let me take a look at the modulation section. Seven Dwarves Ottawa, that's the Snow White. That's a great circuit. So they have a reverb. That's interesting. Reverb all about. Yes. It's a belt and brick. Very cool. So it's an affordable solution if you're looking to build your own reverb pedal. This is $8.50. Pick up the belt and brick and it's low parts count. Smart build, able to put it in a smaller chassis, I'm guessing. I need to spend some time checking this out. Oh, it's a cool octave, double octave pedal. Very cool. Crunchy cardboard. Huh. I have no idea what this is. The crunchy cardboard. Tell me more, please. Brown sound in a box, too. Classic Zeppelin sounds. Ah, this has got to be the uh, JHS uh, Super Bolt, the Lightning Bolt. This is a great circuit. I would love to get one of these. You know what? I need to practice what I preach and make an order. I can see myself very easily having enough PCBs to keep myself busy for a few years. I do have their Mariana's Trench Delay, which is a PT2399 base delay that also has a second IC chip. There's two ICs, there's the echo chip, and here is an op amp which handles all the mixing. Uh, the, the, you have wet signal and dry signal and you need to mix those together. And some people will try to perform that function with the allotment that's provided inside this echo chip. And in my opinion, you, you can do it, but it just doesn't sound right. It's just there's not enough gain to go around, and it, it suffers. You don't get a good sound mix between the wet and the dry, which is really important. So if you're going to build yourself a PT2399 based effect, yes, there are people that have designed these out here where it just uses a single chip. No, they don't sound good so i have this i was planning on working on this right about now but the last project i built had failed i need to wait for some parts to arrive to finish that and i'm going to be rebuilding our powered mixer my do-it-yourself pa system that i built for our outdoor remote jam sessions we're famous for on this channel so that's going to be coming up um, upgrading the system and eventually I'll get around to building the Mystic Spirit box, which is a slide synth type sine wave generator with a ring modulator, a PT2399 delay, this Mariana trench with an onboard amplifier speaker combo with internal battery pack. I've got to try to squeeze all of these circuits, controls, uh, batteries, PCBs, and... Uh, the slide synth contraption inside this really cool pyramid shaped dark green cigar box that I obtained and then I'm gonna call it the mystic spirit box so I just wanted to recommend you know it's tough right now a lot of people are not working and a lot of times when you order from these electronic supply houses they will charge you a lot for shipping I did make an order for the JFET daughter boards from Delic, and they were really a great deal as far as the shipping goes. And normally I see places charging 99 cents for a single board where they have four of the boards 
for 65 cents. And that's something I can afford. Especially when the shipping, I thought, well, are they going to try to beat me on the shipping? And no, they didn't. It was very fair. Look at this. What's going on up here? What the heck? I am just, I could just spend more and more and more time checking out these PCBs. I'm going to get off of the horn and spend some time taking a look here at Delic uh, and recommend that you guys do the same. So I'll put a link in the description, show them some love. But taking a look at their clearance section, they've got the Super 4. You can build four different boosts, including the uh, oh, unbelievably overpriced $179 or $250 ZVEC Super Hard On. You can build that here. Pick this up for four dollars. It's just a handful of parts. Uh, let, let's take a look and see. You could go on Tata.com and order this stuff. I'm guessing it's not even going to cost you ten dollars for the parts, because I'm aware I built one of these and I love it. Mine, I built the AMZ MOSFET boost. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, six resistors, which are a penny a piece. There's a Zener diode, a, another um, regular small signal diode, 1N4000X. Just a handful of capacitors. Looks like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five capacitors. And a single BS170 along with two pot controls and you have a wonderful so yeah like i said for less than you'd spend to order a pizza you could build yourself this circuit probably go ahead and and chalk in a stop switch and closure and get into this wonderful addiction hobby of do-it-yourself guitar pedal effects overdrive distortion boost fuzz delay modulation small boards mini boards utility boards parts swag and clearance check out delic pcbs today and order something i have their mariana's trench that will be coming up soon when i get around to the mystic spirit box i want to thank you guys and i will see you very soon with some more live music peace